Hi and welcome to Loopy Mabel's Closet. My name is Jane and in today's video it's all about pattern test and what I'm wearing. Yeah, so as I said in, in the intro, this is all about this lovely top that I'm wearing. It's a pattern test I was involved with last week and I thought I would just share it with you and obviously promote the pattern because it has now been released. It's the uh, Cora blouse by a company which I wasn't all that familiar with until I got into the pattern testing pool and it's Pattern Union and it's an Australian company and it's owned by Sarah who is the designer and creator of the patterns and she's got some fabulous patterns I didn't know about which I do now obviously and I saw the uh, request for the pattern testing and it just flicked through I think it was on Instagram and as soon as I saw the pattern style C which is what I'm wearing with this um, lovely cowl neck line I thought oh I'd love to have a go at that so I put my name down and I got luckily got chosen um, so it was a bit of a tight deadline I think it was just a week to get it done but absolutely fine and I'm really pleased with it now I've done some adjustments to the pattern but before I tell you what I've done I'll show you the options that you get with it now I love a pattern that you get loads of options with because you know, you've got lots of vers versatility, you can chop and change, you can change the styles, you can change the fabrics and create different looks. You, you know, so you're getting quite a bit for your money, which is what we all want. And um, very similar style C with the, col with the, like, the lovely cowl collar, reminiscent of the French dart dress that I've made two of by Maven Patterns. And as soon as I saw it, I thought, oh, I love that. I love neck details and high neck lines. If you follow me, you know I'm not a great lover of low neck lines, although I will in the summer, but generally, generally throughout the year, I do like a higher neck line or a neck detail, a ruffle or um, a collar or, you know, anything like that around the neck so I immediately I was immediately drawn to this one and view C but you've got view A, B and C so view A is a blouse with the front neck opening and tassel ties and then obviously you've got the option for a sleeveless or long sleeve and then view B again is the blouse with entredeur stitching so it's got that like a york at the front and then the entredeur stitching down the front there really pretty uh, I had to google entredeur because I didn't know what it was <laughs> uh, and obviously view C is the cowl neck and it's got the open back so I went for view C now Sarah has if you go on to Pattern Union website and look at the Cora blouse Sarah the owner has done hers in this beautiful cream I think it's silk and she's done the cowl neckline, but obviously because she chose a silk fabric, it just, the, the drape on it is absolutely stunning. And she's got it paired with, well, she's got a few, she's paired it with a few different outfits to, to, just to give you an idea how to wear it. Um, but I didn't have anything like that. And obviously, because it was just a, a pattern test and it was, you know, a week deadline, I just thought, well, I'll make, use what I've got because it's a pattern test. So obviously the whole, um, reason for a pattern test is so the owner designer can then tweak out any errors or iron out any problems or maybe change anything at all that the pattern testers come up with so I just thought well I'll, I'll use fabrics that I've got to hand and so what I've done was I have had this I can't even remember where I got it from I got a meter of this from somewhere uh, before Christmas I think it was I can't remember where I got it from this pretty I think it's a cotton cotton uh, I think it's like a cotton lawn or something like that and then I just didn't have enough to do the whole blouse so I had some of this fine pink baby card left that I had for my Pietra pants and I just thought well because it's obviously a firmer fabric I thought if I use this on the sleeves and on the collar it would give a lot of structure to the collar which is what I wanted and it really has worked really well I think Sarah was quite impressed um, how 
my look with the collar, the cowl collar more upright, more structured, is completely different to the drape of, for example, the silk that Sarah's used. And it just, just gives a totally different look. Now I used, um, I also lengthened the sleeves because the sleeves you can choose, the, you can obviously go sleeveless, you can go a cuffed, uh, a cuffed elastic sleeve or just the elastic sleeve and I chose the cuffed elastic sleeve but because I was I mean the fabric is obviously thicker so this is going to be more of a blouse for spring autumn winter it's obviously not going to be much use in the summer well you never know England um, so I thought well I'll go for a long the longer sleeve and I ex extended my sleeve by two inches because I thought if, if it finishes up here I'm going to be wearing it in the autumn winter I might feel a little bit cold so I extended my sleeve by two inches and what I did was because I wanted to bring out this fabric the main fabric to show on the on the sleeves so I just cut um, a five inch cuff because I used two inch elastic so obviously doubled over would be four inches and then I had an inch for my, my seam allowances and what have you. So all in all, when I stitched it on, it came to exactly two inches and my elastic has just sat beautifully in that two inch cuff. There's nowhere for that elastic to go. Mind you, it was an absolute pain to get it threaded through because it was two inch elastic and it didn't want to move. It, it took me absolute age to thread it through, uh, but it's, it's in and I love that, that just that contrast effect. So I'll show you the back. Now the problem is, because obviously I went for a more structured, heavier weight fabric. Um, when If you do it in the, like something like Sarah's done in something more drapey, the cowl will naturally drape to the front and the back will sit neat or flatter than my version because obviously I've gone for a heavier structured collar and the buttons at the back, which I'll show you, is dragging the opening down a bit at the back. I'll show you. I'll pop some pictures up too of me wearing it in the garden, but obviously if I turn around, you can see how the back is kind of the collar, the weight of the collar and the buttons is spoiling the effect at the back. But I've got the two buttons on and I went for blue and I even went for pink for the cotton to sew the buttons on. Hopefully you can see that, but you can see the opening is, the weight of the collar is dragging the opening down. Whereas when Sarah's made hers in the silk, the cowl is beautifully draped and the buttons and the back lies neater. So, so I said to Sarah, um, I said, would to, because you don't really need that opening to get your head through the cowl. So I said to Sarah, is it possible that I could make it, obviously I'm going to make it again because I really like it. If I make it again, if I, I just omitted the back open and added the cowl just around the neck somehow and she said yeah that probably would work so when I make it again in a heavy weight fabric that is I would do it without the back opening but I think I'd like to make it in a drapey fabric next time and have that lovely drapey cowl effect um, so it's a lovely lovely um, blouse to put on I've got mine with jeans again I'll stand up and just show you it's a nice length too it goes way past way past my hips my hips are there it goes way past it's a lovely long length and she's done it this length so you can either wear it over your jeans like I've got or you can have it with a belt and you've still got details of the blouse showing or you could do the French tuck try and show you so you've got long enough where you can do the French tuck so it's really great great versatile blouse I absolutely love it I love the effect of the corduroy sleeves and the cuff detail I just think I just love it really do like it um, she's very clever is Sarah and if you go onto her website she's got some amazing patterns on there so the Cora blouse is now available it's on her website in her shop and I don't think she had there was any errors from any of the pattern testers. There was just a few um, typos in the pattern instructions, but there was no. I don't think anybody uh, picked up any, you know, design faults as as in the pattern as, as such. So, from the finish of the pattern test last week, literally it went. It was I think it was published 
a week later so really quick and um, I really do like it so I wanted to share it with you because obviously it's it's not a pattern company that I was familiar with beforehand and it may be the same for you it's and it's lovely to find out new pattern companies I also like to share and support them if I can so that's the Cora blouse by pattern union and I'll put the link for the website in the box below as <clears throat> as I always do and uh, really pleased let me know what you think obviously i've used two different fabrics two contrasting fabrics let me know what you think but all in all it was a really pleasant sunday afternoon sewing i made on i think it was last sunday i think it was and it didn't take me very long maybe four hours max and it was just a lovely pleasant sew. instructions were spot on really thorough instructions and also diagrams to go along with it so you know that's what I call a really good drafted pattern. The notches matches, matched up perfect. It was just really, really good, thorough, well-designed pattern. And she, like I say, she has got some lovely other patterns on her site, so take a look. So just a little review of the pattern tests that I've just done. And I just wanted to share with you this company that you may not have been familiar with, and it's always good to find new sewing companies. That's what I say. You can never have too many sewing companies. Um, so, yeah so that's it for today hope you like today's video hope you like what i made my version if you go onto the website you'll be able to see all the other pattern testers versions they're all on there too and um thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you just found me i would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button too so until the next time thanks for joining me and as always happy sewing <laughs>